Hey folks, Jason, JTL, Painfully Honest Tech, back again. Got to talk about what to buy instead of the AirPods Max. Now, you may have seen my recent AirPods Max video where I talked about the uh, condensation issue that's going on with them. You may have seen the battery life draining <laughs> video that I did. So there seems to be some stuff going on with the AirPods Max that, are, that would and should make some people a little bit confused about whether or not they should buy the AirPods Max or they should buy something else. So I have a few things here right now that I think you should consider if you want a noise canceling headphone, wireless noise canceling headphone, I've got some picks for you right here, some that aren't that expensive, some that are still less expensive than the AirPods, some that are a little bit in between. So let's go ahead and talk about what those are, and uh, I'm going to leave my favorite for the last. Okay, so first off, and this might seem like a little bit of an odd suggestion, uh, the Beats Studio Wireless 3. These have been out for a while, uh, and they aren't the, they don't meet up with some of the others in terms of overall sound quality. If you want something that's sort of inside of the Apple ecosystem that does what the AirPods Max do to a certain extent, these have the H1 chip that's in the original AirPods. And so all of that, you know, open up your iPhone and they pop up and connect and all that kind of thing. All of the special bells and whistles, except for say something like spatial audio, uh, all the bells and whistles of the Mac Apple ecosystem are here with these beats. So that makes them worthwhile. And I'm going to say that uh, of the of the headphones that I have here on my desk today, these beats are the most comfortable. Uh, yeah. I I just think that the 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 size of the ear cups and the pads themselves are nice and comfy. They retail suggested retail is like $350, but you can very often find them for a lot less than that if you do a little shopping. And still here at the beginning of the year, there's probably some deals on these on Amazon and Best Buy and other places. And so I would check these out if you want to be inside of the same kind of convenience factor of the AirPods. Uh, definitely not on the same level as the AirPods sound-wise, but they don't sound terrible. Uh, yeah. Number two here is the... Anchor Soundcore Life Q30s. Now, these are kind of a sneaky headphone. These came out just recently. They have another model, the Soundcore Life Q20s that I have here. Sorry, I have to dig everything out. The Q30s, the, uh, ear, the ear cups are a little bit smaller. They've got a gold accent on there. Uh, gold accent on the sides. These I, I brought out because typical retail for the Q30s is $80. Active noise cancellation, you know, I, all that kind of stuff. They are really, really good headphones. Like these are punching well above their weight in terms of sound, in terms of quality overall. They're comfortable. Uh, they might not be, feel as well made as some of the others, but they are. they are light and they are very good in the noise canceling department. The Q the Q20s, which are still on sale, are a little bit more hefty. These are a little bit more Bose like, and uh, if you're into the Bose, then maybe these would be the right ones for you. But these retail for sixty sixty dollars. Wireless uh, wireless noise cancellation, the whole deal. There are not too many different uh, little buttons and stuff. You got your volume, you got your power, you got your noise cancellation on and off. Those are the only buttons that you have on the headphones, but they are very good. These Anchor Soundcore Q20s, and again, all of these things will be linked in the description down below. So go ahead down there and check them out. Uh, all of them will be Amazon links. They are affiliate links that do kick me back a penny or two every time somebody buys something using my link. It ends up being very helpful over the course of you know the year, so I really do appreciate it if you use my links. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of headphones that I don't actually have. And as such, it's difficult for me to recommend them over other things, but I can, I can talk about them. So we'll move over to the Amazon page for these guys. Here we have 
the Sennheiser Momentum 3 wireless noise canceling headphone. Got Alexa, auto on and off, which is something that the AirPods Max don't really have. It's got uh, smart pause functionality, so when you when you pull them off your head, they'll pause just like the AirPods Max do. Uh, they've got an app that you can download and put on your phone to to they call it a smart control app. They're two ninety nine regularly three ninety nine here on Amazon. And the thing about these is Sennheiser is probably my favorite overall company for headphones. I've liked Sennheiser headphones of every stripe, whether they be professional headphones or audiophile headphones or anything like that. And so these, while I haven't heard the, the Momentum Wireless threes, I've heard the twos. And these are on my list of headphones to pick up uh, here soon, just for my own use. So the Momentum Wireless 3s, they've got a nice classic looking design. They have all the features that the AirPods Max have, except for the, you know, Apple specific stuff. And they are very well reviewed here on Amazon. You've got 613 ratings, 4.4 out of 5 stars. So these are the first ones, the Sennheiser Momentum 3 Wireless. Now the next ones that I want to talk about is the Bowers and Wilkins PX7 over the ear noise canceling Bluetooth headphone. It's uh, space gray, a different gray, silver, I guess. And then they have carbon edition. Bowers and Wilkins speakers are among the most renowned out there. I am a big fan of their speakers and I have had Bowers and Wilkins headphones in the past. Uh, what did I have? I think I had the PX5. These are the upgraded model of what I had several years back. They added the noise canceling since I had them. They are really, really good sounding. A lot of people have mentioned them to me as potential uh, replacements for the AirPods. I mean, my AirPods Max are going back. I have the, the return label already printed out. I'm boxing them up and I'm sending them back. Until this condensation issue, whatever it is, however it's happening, you know, a lot of people are giving me a lot of different, well, anyway, no matter what it is, I don't feel putting $550, $600 after tax into a pair of headphones that may have a fatal issue uh, is the right way to go right now. So I'll either wait until Apple comes out and talks about these and lets us know what they're going to do, or I will just, you know, wait until there's uh, version two. Now, of course... The next to the last headphone that I'm going to talk about here are the Sony WH-1000XM4. Looking around the internet at all the different lists of best headphones, uh, these are often rated as the best of the bunch. Now, I've had these, I've had the ones and the twos, I skipped the threes, and I like these. However, as I said in my review, once comparing them to the AirPods Max, the sound signature of these uh, just wasn't as defined as I wanted it to be. And therefore, they've kind of fallen down on my list of recommendations. They have a lot of great features. They have probably the best noise canceling this side of the AirPods Max. Uh, they are easy to use. They have their own app. You can customize them with, uh, with some different EQs, and, and they have ways to customize them for your ears only and that kind of thing. They are... They are a very good headphone, and as I said, the headphone that most people recommend for active no noise canceling headphones. So on the basis of that and my own experience with these, I think if you're going to go away from the AirPods Max or you want something different than the AirPods Max, then these should probably be high on your list of what you consider. They're less expensive than the Sennheiser and the Bowers and Wilkins that I just showed you. They're, they retail, suggested retail, $350, but... You can find them for, you know, a hundred dollars or more less at many given times throughout the year. So I would do some bargain shopping if you wanted to pick these up. The Sony WH one thousand M X four. I should knock them down another notch just for the name. Are are a very good headphone. They are the headphone that most people recommend if you're looking for a wireless Bluetooth noise canceling headphone. My number one, and this is kind of a wild card because these do not have active noise cancellation. These are over the ear wireless headphones. They are 
they have all the features that all the rest of the, <laughs> the things do, except for that noise canceling feature. And these are the Drop Pandas. They have a THX uh, amplifier inside. They are planar magnetic headphones, which basically means that there's sort of a magnetic ribbon inside of each. They, they work uh, differently than typical drivers do in the sense that they, well, just they're electrostatic. And the way that they produce sound is different. A lot of people say that the way that uh, planar magnetic headphones sound is smoother than uh, than a dri- than a like cone driver, and I would have to agree with that. I have several pairs of planar mag- magnetic, and they are smooth. They are not dull. They give you all the frequencies that you need. You, they give you the sense of them not being as loud as some other headphones, but they are producing the sound in a different way. The perceived volume is way, way different from one headphone to the next, and that's the same with these. So I've worked with the drop often, many times, and they often work with other headphone companies to make uh, slightly different versions of their well-known headphones, like the Sennheiser uh, HD 600s or the Hi-Fi Man uh, HE 100s. HE 400s? Yeah, the Hi-Fi Man HE 400s. They have, the Drop has their own version of those. These are made by the Drop. The the ear cushions are great. They're a little heavy, but you've got nice aluminum here on the on the band, silicone up here on, on, the, on the head portion. Uh, they're heavy duty. They're very unassuming. There's no branding anywhere. It says the Drop, like, inside of there. No branding at all. They have a nice little joystick. Let me see if I can get that up there so you can see it. So this joystick is how you you press in to turn it on and then volume up and down this way and then tracks backward and forward, uh, left and right, and a few other things. These are probably the best wireless headphones that I have. Now, added bonus for these, they also sound very, very good wired if that's something that you're looking for. And if you want to use these for gaming, if you want a sort of all-around headphone that can do the gaming, that can do the wired, that can do the wireless, they also have a microphone that you can buy separately. I think it's $30 or $40 that you can then plug into the cable and then plug into the headphone itself. And they're a very impressive headphone. My full review of these is coming very soon. Spoiler alert, they're really good. They're really good. And if you can do without the noise canceling, then I would really consider these. Again, everybody, all the stuff that I talked about here in this video, linked down in the description below. Please go down there and check them out. These are the headphones that I would consider and the reasons why I would consider them if I were getting something different from the AirPods Max, whether I didn't want to pay that price for the AirPods Max or if I was a little afraid of some of the things that are going on with them here in their initial uh, phases. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you have another headphone that you would recommend over any of the ones that I recommended here? Do you have any questions? Talk to me down there as well. So if you want to come on back again and do the whole thing, uh, I make a video, you watch it, uh, that kind of stuff, then like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon and be sure that you hit all notifications because YouTube is really, really bad at sending notifications out. For some reason. And you have to hit that on notifications if you want to know every time I put out a video. Anyway, thanks so much for being here. Once again, my name's Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.